What's going on, guys? We just saw Infinite. Is it worth your time? Yeah, let's find out if it's worth watching in this lifetime or just waiting until you're next. All right, you guys know the drill. Billy, who's in this? All right, man. So we got Marky Mark Wahlberg. We got Chewy Tell Ejio 4. We got Jason Manzukis. And for about 10 seconds, you got your boy for Maze Runner, Dylan O'Brien. So, What'd you think about this movie? Uh, it was okay. It was action packed. I like that. I like it. You know, it had a lot of action in it. As far as the storyline, uh, it didn't really do it for me just because of the really the, the reason the main villain was trying to do what he was doing anyway when they gave him an option to get out of it himself on his own if he wanted to. I got to tell you, I did not like this movie. I saw the trailer, got me hyped up, showed a lot of cool action, but the movie just, I felt like the acting was poor. Felt See, I, like I didn't have an issue with the story fell acting. apart, and I thought the action was pretty dull, boring, and unbelievable. Started off like Fast and Furious, like some crazy, impossible car tricks. He mm -hmm. like runs over a brick and somehow is able to throw that in the air and yeah, throw yeah. a couple cars. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what is going on? Right. And right, what were the fact that both these vehicles are just busting through this freaking cement building to begin with, right? Just freaking running through walls like they're nothing. Yeah, that, that, that was pretty unbelievable. Um, he it, jumps a car off a bridge as it's spinning, jumps out, and like, yeah. I don't know, uses yeah. samurai sword to latch onto well, that's a beam Well, that's because well, he discovers he's got this Matrix-like power, right? Where he can kind of control space and time a little bit too, right? So you, they threw like a little Matrix action in there. They threw some fifth element in there, like hiding stuff in people's bodies. You know, they threw a little bit of... Uh, some uh, Infinity War in there, like just fading off into dust. The end of all things. And it was like they took a bunch of movies and threw it into this one, threw some action in there and said, all right, let's see what we can do with this. And uh, and like you said, the storyline was, was horrible. The, 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 the What the main villain was trying to accomplish, he had already created a way to do it that he could have just accomplished it the way he had started doing it anyway. And he got to gotten rid of himself that way, right? His whole thing was, I'm done. You know, let's end this world. I'm tired of being reincarnated. He'd already had a way to, had to stop people from reincarnating anyway, so why didn't he just do it to himself? So do you want to break down the yeah. general premise of the story? Yeah, the general premise of the story is you got these people called infinites who are reincarnated, and originally they were kind of the protectors of the world in the, in the sense that they're just here to try to help people and, and make, as they put it, make the world a better place than it was You know, every time they're reincarnated. So every time they're incarnated into a new life, they're supposed to try to do what they can to make the world better. Uh, about 300 years ago, one of them decides, you know what? I'm tired of living all the time. Uh, I'm tired of remembering all my past memories and just living this loop over and over again. So I want to end the world and not just in the world, but in the world at a DNA level and just completely wipe everything out. So there's nothing left for them to reincarnate into. Yeah. I thought the, the premise of the story was pretty decent, but the execution for whatever yeah. reason just did not work. It seemed like it was fast moving and I don't know. Yeah. Well, it, it just didn't work. You know, this kind of reminds me of the old guard a little bit, and I thought yeah, that kind of. movie was better than this one. Yeah, I did like the old guard better. Well, and, and the, at least the old guard storyline was a little better, I think. And the old guard, the the villain in that one, didn't have his own way out. You know, <laughs> I mean, in in this movie, and well, that's another thing too, right? How did the villain in this movie create all this crazy tech? Right, it never explains where. Yeah, they where, have like they, advanced technology, yeah. and it's not really explained very no, well because explain it takes place all. in like modern times. It looks yeah. like so. The, yeah, doesn't explain how these guys came up with advanced tech. Doesn't explain how the villain created this world-ending bomb. Doesn't explain none of this stuff. And it, 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 like I said, and the villain created a method of making it where you can't reincarnate anyway. So why do you need to kill the world to do that if you just use that method on yourself and be done? That's what I you was know? thinking. I was like, so, why don't you just do this? I guess he, they're not permanently dead, right? They're like stored on something, right? Yeah, but, but I mean, so, but you are basically permanently dead until, you know, somebody destroys that thing and then your soul gets, you know, thrown back out into the reality and then you can be reincarnated, right? So as long as you're stored in that little chip, then you're not going to get reincarnated again. So what'd there you, you go, problem what'd solved. What do you think about the action scenes in this? The action scenes were... They had some good ones. I mean, I, I, you know, like I said, some of them were kind of matrixy. You know, I mean, dudes, you know, flipping around a samurai sword, stopping bullets with it and stuff. Yeah, and, I didn't appreciate you know. uh, the scene where Mark Wahlberg's getting shot at and he's like blocking things with the samurai sword. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's totally unbelievable. Um, I mean, some of the fight scenes were okay. I mean, I, I, I there was a lot of action, uh, but I, I think you kind of hit the nail on the head when you said it was kind of sped up a little bit. It's almost like they kind of sped their way through this movie, so the action scenes probably didn't last as long as they should. 
and they weren't as thought they out as they would like be. seem like they carried enough weight to any of the yeah. scenes for some yeah. reason. Yeah, I would agree. And, and for me personally, I just thought they were cheesy. I'm okay with a little bit of cheese. Like in the beginning, it was very fast and furious, unbelievable. I'm kind of okay with that to a certain extent, but like... They get some gunplay stuff that is just like flat out ridiculous. Oh, like absolutely. there's a sniper aiming in on one of the chicks and then she gets in an ATV with Mark Wahlberg's character and he like literally just one arms a rifle and shoots, shoots the sniper it. in the head. And I'm just like, what are we doing here? Right. Oh, yeah. You know, and then yeah. uh, there's another scene where they're actually in the ATV driving. They get hit by a 203 round. And the, the the vehicle explodes and these guys just get out like yeah. nothing happened. Well and, well, and that's the thing too, right? Like in the first car wreck, neither they're, they're, neither one of them were bleeding, right? So there, there's all kinds of car wrecks and mayhem and madness that goes on in this movie, but like nobody gets hurt, right? So like you said, a car blows up. They walk off with, well, I mean, the chick's messed up, but it really didn't. But aside from that one spot where she's jacked up, her face isn't bleeding, his face isn't bleeding. They don't get any broken bones. <laughs> it's just yeah, I couldn't believe that out. two or three scene where oh, yeah. it, it literally shows yeah. the ATV blow up, flip over, and then they just crawl Both. out and they're like, they're fighting, like ready to go. Yeah, exactly. A second later, and I was like, wow, mm-hmm. okay. Yeah, it was that was totally unbelievable. And I, I guess I, I was kind of thinking about that maybe because it's PG thirteen, and that's why they didn't put a lot of blood and that kind of stuff in there and show a lot of that. Because even, even remember even almost the kill scenes. When, especially when he's shooting people in the head, it would always pan out away from you, yeah. right? So I, I think probably a lot of that had to do with because it's PG thirteen. So they kind of find they cut that. a lot of I mean, that out. Marvel you know, does that. Other movies do right. that in very creative ways, but uh, yeah. I don't know if that's what held it back. I just think it was sloppy, honestly. Right. Yeah, so. this movie was like it was almost like a video game with no blood, right? It's like you're playing Call of Duty, but you know, no blood splatter, nothing. You know, you're, people are getting shot and killed, and there's just no blood coming out, and. Uh, you know, and then again, you know, they pan out on a lot of it. I'll tell you how sloppy is. This girl, like, does, like, a spinning drop kick on one of the guys. She picks up his rifle, and she immediately, like, racks it like she's putting around in the chamber. I'm like, yeah, the guy just got done shooting at you. Right. Why would you do that? <laughs> I mean, maybe you would check the magazine to see how many rounds are left, but she, like, racks it. No round ejects. Then she shoots a couple uh-huh. rounds. I think it jams or runs out of ammo, and then she picks up. I mean, that's just sloppy. Yeah, no, it, it was very unrealistic and sloppy and, and it threw out a lot of the movie, for sure. And uh, they definitely could have better done a better job. I mean, you know, if you're just wanting to watch this movie because you know you just want to, you're bored one day and want to see some action, then you're going to see some action. But it's very, like you said, it's very unrealistic, and it just was, you know, they they absolutely missed the mark on it. And especially for a Mark Wahlberg movie, you know, when you're expecting a lot out of a Mark Wahlberg movie, you know, and he had a good supporting cast, I think it just. They just didn't do what they should have with him. You know, yeah, I really thought didn't. some of the best acting was done by the villain, honestly. Yeah, no, he did a great job. Yeah, I thought he did pretty good. Um, Mark, Mark Wahlberg was kind of flat for me. Uh, the uh, the female that was running around with I thought she was pretty poor. Yeah, no, she didn't really bring anything to it. And, and even like the stuff that's supposed to be jokey and comedy just kind of fell fell off. You know, it just wasn't that... You know, it didn't make me laugh. You know, I mean... No, pretty, there wasn't too much comedy sprinkled yeah, in. I mean, you, the, the, and what was sprinkled in you saw in the trailer. Right, pretty much for the most part, and it was just, you know, I guess maybe because you saw it on the trailer already. So when you see it in real life, when you're watching the movies, like okay, we already saw that, I knew it was there, coming. There was some decent comedy with like that scientist kind of guy that has to drown him to jog his memory or whatever. I like you this time around. Yeah, but that was in the, that was in the trailer as well. So that's what I'm talking right. about. So, but overall, yeah, I mean the movie just uh, that uh, when, that when, mad when, scientist guy from the Marvel movies kind of in it. Yeah. That's another scene yeah. that bo- bothered me. He's trying to do something. He's getting shot by arrows because the guy's like on a building across the way. Yeah. But it looks like he got <laughs> shot from the ceiling. ceiling. I'm like, there's no way yeah. that guy yeah. had an angle the, the to shoot arrow, him. Like, the arrow, like, the arrow I was definitely like, came down. Right, exactly. <laughs> I was, like, I, I was oh, thinking okay. the same thing when I saw that. I was like, hold on a minute. You know, I was like, where's this guy at? Like <laughs> hanging upside down on the ceiling shooting him? Yeah, and, he's, yeah and then he's like eye <laughs> level across the street on another building. Yeah, so that was crazy. All right, so what would you rate this movie? All right, man. So I, I tell you, I'll give this movie probably about a six, right? I mean, and only because, you know, if you're bored and you got nothing better to do, it's entertaining. I mean, you can watch it and be like, all right, you know, it's, I mean, it's like I said, you know, like we we're talking about, it's just hokey action. You know, it's unrealistic. But, you know, if you're bored and, and you got nothing better to do, then give it a shot. I mean, it, but don't uh, rate, waste your time running to go see it because it's not that great of a movie. But it's not a, the worst movie I've ever seen either. So like I said, I'm good at six. Yeah, thank goodness this is available on the streaming service. Um, I gave Conjuring a five, and I think I enjoyed that more than this movie, so I'm going to have to give this movie probably a five as well because that's about average. I think The Old Guard is a pretty similar story and does it slightly better than this, so um, I'd recommend that over this. But uh, if you've got some time on your hand, then by all means, watch the movie. It's not incredibly bad, but uh, it's just not a great movie, so...
All right, guys. Well, we're sorry to burst your bubble and let you know that it ain't worth taking the time to watch this movie unless you're just really bored. But uh, we hope you liked our review. If you did, press like and subscribe, and we'll catch you next time. See you guys.